Hello, hello. Welcome to another vlog. It's been a while since I've caught up with you. I just haven't felt like vlogging to be honest. I sometimes I just feel like I'm too old to vlog. <laughs> like what am I what am I even doing on the internet? I've just been having an internet existential crisis as of late, if you will, but I'm here. I'm actually going out for dinner with some friends and coworkers, which is really exciting. We haven't been out in a larger group of people in a really long time, so I feel like I forgot how to interact with other humans if it's not on a screen. I thought I would share with you what I'm wearing today. Maybe I'll turn this vlog into a just what I wore in a week type of thing. So I'm wearing a Levi's denim jacket. This is an oversized one. It's called the trucker jacket and I love it. This is the size medium. I'm pretty sure they still make these. I'm wearing my knit helmet laying top and my wide leg trousers are by Vince. It's the same ones that I've worn a few times and then I'm just wearing my Converse sneakers because I want to be comfortable. Leftover Detroit style pizza. It's so good. <laughs> That's my current update. I'm wearing a sweater because it is freezing outside. Um, and I thought I would perk myself up with the coziest cashmere sweater I own. Having a nice little lunch break. <laughs> to share these are my desk essentials obviously some post-its sd cards a pen some highlighters these are really pretty actually these are like non-conventional highlighters they're it's like a pale pink and a pale gray bought them from amazon they're not i don't think they're like highlighter highlighters but i use them as a highlighter or to underline and then what else we, we've got some hand cream i really love this as like a daytime hand cream because it's super super like velvety and it sinks in really really quickly so i like this and then lip balms polish choice lip balm this is a nice like really light everyday lip balm and then I got this little sample of the uh, Fit Glow Lip Serum in the shade Gospel. This is like the perfect pick-me-up if I'm about to jump on a, on a call and, you know, got to turn the video on and I want my lips to just look a little bit more refreshed. This is, has been really, really nice. AirPods and uh, some random cuticle tools. This is like this cuticle trimmer thing. I don't like this. I wouldn't really recommend it. I had ordered it on Amazon, but... I think I'm just gonna, gonna go back to traditional cuticle nippers like the Tweezerman ones. This is a cuticle serum from Olive and June. Love to use this during the day because it's not greasy. It's not like a typical cuticle oil. <laughs> dinner tonight i'm going to do something i like to call a frankenstein dinner in which i'm going to pick random bits and pieces out of random recipes and just throw them together in a bowl and hope for the best the one recipe i'm gonna take something out of is this um this is a clean plate everything i've ever made out of a gwyneth paltrow cookbook has been delicious i'm gonna make i'm not gonna make this whole meat dish i'm not gonna do tacos but i'm going to make this filling because I have some beets that are cooked that I need to use up. So I'm going to use my cooked beets to make this filling. And instead of making tacos, I'm just going to throw this filling in a bowl with some cauliflower rice, some roasted sweet potatoes, 
some, maybe I'll do like some chicken strips, some avocado, maybe some pickled onion, and just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it all in a bowl and hope for the best. Hello, it's Sunday. I'm doing laundry. I just put in a load of laundry and now I'm getting myself ready just to make myself feel a bit alive. Some gold hoop earrings always manage to make me feel <laughs> so much more put together. These are by the brand Kin. I'm just wearing this And Other Stories sweater because it's still quite cold outside. It's supposed to get warm finally, but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Everything's still dead. I'm so envious of seeing people, people's vlogs or, or pictures on Instagram of trees and bloom. I'm just craving spring, um, but spring is not here yet. Everything is dead. Um, every now and then I see like a little flower trying to pop out of the, the dead grass. Full on spring definitely has not happened here yet. I feel like winter is just really, really taking its time this year. That's the weather update you didn't ask for. Um, yeah, in terms of, uh, of my outfit, my purple sweater, black, straight leg jeans, and um, my slides are from Gia Borghini. They're just these padded slides that I bought for summertime. Um, it's obviously too cold to wear them out into the world right now, so I've just kind of been enjoying them indoors as indoor shoes only for now. I'm just wearing them with socks right now, but they're so cool. Gia Borghini is a really cool brand if you're looking for really modern, high quality shoes. I'd say it's around the same price point as Stuber Weitzman shoes, but really, really love them. They're super comfortable. They come in a bunch of different colors and um, it's like a little, a little same comfort as a Birkenstock Arizona sandal, but it's a little different. This overnight oat recipe is amazing. I'm going to pause it on the screen so you can screenshot it if you are interested, but they are delicious. So I'm going to be making a batch. Painting my nails, this is a mid manicure shot. I still need to do one more coat and then my top coat, but I forgot how amazing this nail polish is. This is Essie Flashed. It's probably my favorite orangey red, and I hadn't painted my nails with it for a while because I usually, you know, save this color for spring and summer, but it's it's amazing. Kind of similar to like OPI Cajun Shrimp, but I prefer the SE Gel Couture formula just a bit more. This has been one of my favorite lunches. I've just been working all day, so there's nothing that exciting to share, but this is exciting. Some cheese, some toast, a little bit of olive oil, some za'atar, Cucumber, delicious. And uh, maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing today too. Let's see. Put you over here. Um, I'm wearing a vintage band t-shirt. This is from my mother-in-law. My pants are from Cezanne. They're just these really, really cool, kind of low-rise, slouchy jeans. And then I'm wearing my um, Gia Borghini slides again. It's actually really, really nice out today, which is making me really happy. It's finally, finally a little bit warmer and sunny after all my weather complaints in this vlog. So um, yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch and uh, I'll be checking in with you later. You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon. I thought I would share with you what I am wearing today. I will be adding some rain boots though because it is raining and I am heading to Detroit today. I'm just wearing gray. I thought I would emulate the weather. <laughs> gray sweater. This is from Nordstrom Rack. I think the brand is 360 Cashmere and um, gray jeans. These are by the brand Gold Sign. Gold Sign the Benefit jeans. They are amazing long like full length straight leg jeans have a little bit of stretch to them they're super super comfortable and i'll be adding a trench coat this is a isabel morant trench coat that i also found at nordstrom rack um three years ago now an awesome nordstrom rack find i love big fan of nordstrom rack love nordstrom rack i love winners i love marshalls love me a good discount department store i have to be in the mood i have to be in the mood for the hunt to go there, but 
there are always a lot of hidden gems. So that's what I'm wearing. And then I'm going to do my little hot pink Bottega Veneta rain boots. Excited to head to Detroit. Really excited about this ramen place. I've been wanting to go to it for so long. And um, the ramen shop that I usually like here in Ann Arbor has been closed for renovations. So I've been craving some good ramen. I haven't had some in a while. In terms of makeup, I have been playing with the new Clarins lip oils this week. If you've watched my videos for, for the last few years, you'll know how much I love the Clarins lip oils. The lip oil in the shade Candy in particular, and then Red Berry Glam, that was like a limited edition one that I was obsessed with. Um, anyway, they recently reformulated their lip oils, and I was scared because reformulation, from my experience, is uh, always quite scary. But I have to say, I'm, I'm really digging the new formula. I like the packaging. The packaging is really nice and sleek. They used to be like a rectangle square packaging and now it's nice and rounded. The shade that I like, the candy shade, is they still have a color that looks very, very similar to it. It's called Pattaya. Anyway, this is not it. This is this is the shade Strawberry and I've been wearing it today. I wore Pattaya yesterday. I wore the Honey shade. It feels, I have to say, the formula feels more nourishing and more moisturizing than the old formula, but it's a little bit thinner. The old formula was a bit thicker on the lips and it gave like a more dramatic, glossy look, but it faded quite quickly and it didn't leave my lips feeling as moisturized as this new formula. So they've tinkered with the formula. It still smells really, really good. So far the smells, I feel like they've improved the smells. Not that I hated the smells from the old formula, but I feel like the smells in this new formula are even better. Uh, the wand is the same, still that chubby wand. But yeah, I feel like my lips are moisturized for longer with this new formula, which I'm actually really appreciating right now because my lips have been super dry. I'm actually loving all the colors. They sent me all the colors, so I've just been kind of testing them each one day by day and uh, yeah i mean pattaya obviously would have to be my number one because that's the closest to the old candy shade but yeah that's that's the lip of playing with makeup and having a nice like morning get ready with me session and film it on the vlog um, somebody commented on my Lisa Eldridge foundation um, video and uh, they mentioned that they really like combining it with Armani luminous silk and I am very interested in trying that combination so I wanted to try it today but just lost track of time sitting at my computer. Now I have to get ready and get out of the house for a meeting and I'm running late. So I'm not trying anything new. I'm not gonna risk it basically and try a new combination. I'm just going to quickly swap on something that I know works well for me. So today it's the NARS tinted moisturizer. Oh, I had a pimple here that I'm so happy. It's, it's finally healing. I just slapped on all my secret weapons basically i put on my benzoyl peroxide gel and my zip patches and that seemed to have done the trick the bump is gone it's no longer a raised bump it's now just flat and and red which i can obviously i can just fix that with some concealer just kind of going for tried and true products that's usually what i do when i'm in a rush Let's just do like bronzer really quick. Honestly, I don't don't really have much time to play here. So I'm just going to do light dusting of loose powder and then some 
bronzer. This is Becca Capri Coast. I'm still on the Pat McGrath love train. Just doing a little bit of flirtatious. And then for a super quick brow, this is the new Westman Atelier brow pencil and it's great. Very similar to the Hourglass Arch brow pencil. It's less waxy than the Anastasia formula. And then just clean it up with my sponge and then a little bit of brow gel. But yeah, this has been nice. So the, the Bond Brow Defining Pencil. So it's the it's like a wide pencil, it's not a thin pencil. And it has a dry spoolie at the end. But it's nice that they made it like a twist mechanism like this. It, it feels more secure because a lot of the times in other brands, this wand part is just attached like this and it can break off and fall off. So this way it's nice and secure. Am I gonna do mascara? You know what? I don't even think I'm gonna do mascara. I'm just gonna slap on a little bit of this Bobbi Brown Golden Peach eyeshadow just, just to give myself like a little something. It just gives my eyelids a little glow. For the lips, I'm just gonna do a little bit of uh, Sheer Petal from Sicily. Setting spray, I've been dousing myself in setting spray lately. <laughs> I feel like it just gives such a nice fresh glow and this has been my favorite setting spray for years. I actually ordered the Charlotte Tilbury one because I keep hearing amazing things about it so I will be trying that next. Uh, my Sephora order is actually supposed to come today so if it comes today I'll do a little unboxing. My go-to most repurchased setting spray from the last like 10 years has been the Clarins one and I also repurchased the Urban Decay All Nighter like I usually just repurchase that in the summertime. I get a little travel size. I used to use it a lot more um, when I was younger, but over time I had transitioned more to using this Clarins one because this is this doesn't doesn't have alcohol in it, so I don't find it quite as drying. It doesn't like make the pigment stick to the skin and last as long as the Urban Decay All Nighter. I feel like the Urban Decay All Nighter also has a little bit of extra like built-in oil control in it. This is more um, of an everyday, all year round type of setting product, more akin to MAC Fix Plus. It just gives me a little bit more hydration and it really helps take away that powdery look after I set my face with powder. It just kind of brings the glow back in my skin, but it just looks really nice and flattering. So I love this just for an everyday option. The outfit is not revolutionary in the slightest. It's just my go-to uniform, t-shirt, blazer, jeans, and loafers. Here's uh, my exciting Sephora order. Basically had a bunch of samples of, of this product, used them, fell in love, so it was at the top of my list to buy during the Sephora sale. Very excited about this. It smells really nice. It's great just for adding shine. It's an in-shower hair mask that takes only takes like a minute to work. So I'm just planning on using it, I don't know, maybe once every couple weeks when I just feel like my hair needs a nice boost of, of shine. Got a little mini of the um, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Backup Beauty Blender. Another product I'm excited about new Dior Addict lipstick. I smelled it because I was afraid that it would smell like flowers, like roses. I really don't like that set, like floral scent in lipsticks. And it doesn't, it smells really good. It's, um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the scent of the original Clarins Rouge Prodige lipstick. It's like a very soft and subtle raspberry scent. Kind of smells like raspberry starburst, but very, very subtle. If I wasn't on a very strict lipstick low buy, I would be picking up more shades because I'm very excited about this product. And then a backup of my Holy Grail brow gel, the Kosas Air Brow in the shade Soft Brown. Pepper is out for the count. She is tired. 
took her with me today. We also stopped in to see the office, our office space that's still under renovation. She came with me and she was really happy to explore. And uh, Michael was there doing some caulking. And we had a busy day. I got the shade Mimi Rose in the Dior lipstick, which is a really beautiful peachy pink. I thought I would get a color, but I didn't want a bright color, but I also didn't want just a nude. I wanted a fun spring summer shade, and I love these types of colors for spring summer. And just as I was expecting, the formula is actually right on par with the old Dior Addict Extreme lipstick formula. The only difference is the Dior Addict Extremes were maybe like a hint more pigmented and they were completely unscented, whereas these are just a bit more sheer, but they can be built up, so they're, you know, the, the difference is negligible in terms of pigmentation and coverage, and then these now have a little bit of a scent, but they feel very similar, and uh, yeah, this is making me really happy because I was so sad when this formula was discontinued, and uh, happy to report to my fellow Dior Addict Extreme lovers that the new Dior Addict lipsticks are filling that void. And the packaging, I feel like, you know, it's it's the same, but different. You know, it's like a sleeker update. It's slightly slimmer, very, very chic, but very much uh, in line with the brand aesthetic. I'll be, I'll, I'll put this on tomorrow. It's it's nighttime right now. I don't even wanna show you my face because I, I really need to go to bed, <laughs> but I'll show you this on tomorrow morning. I really miss the French vanilla at Tim Hortons that you can only get in Canada because we have Tim Hortons here in Michigan and when I ask for a French vanilla, what they give me is not the same as what I used to get when I lived in Canada. So I got this French vanilla <laughs> creamer. It tastes nothing like the Tim Hortons French vanilla, probably because it doesn't have a pound of sugar in it, but trying to do a homemade French vanilla inspired concoction. <laughs> These are the two Nespresso machines that we have. Like this is my old one that I've had for probably eight years. I brought it with me when I moved here. And then this was Michael's machine. He is more of a coffee drinker. I mean, he likes both coffee and espresso, but in the morning he likes a, a full cup of coffee. So we have the virtual machine, which can do full cups of coffee. They use different capsules. This machine is broken and it just keeps getting worse. It has multiple issues. We were able to fix one of the issues ourselves. Um, we replaced a bearing from the top here. It used to be really, really, really loud. It used to sound like a train and there's just a bearing inside here that needed to be replaced. It was a cheap $7 part that I ordered from the internet. There was a tutorial on YouTube how to replace it. We did that and it's beautifully silent again. It's great, but it's leaking. And the leaking problem, unfortunately, cannot be repaired. It's not in warranty anymore. I mean, it's a pretty old machine. I think this is like maybe five or six years old now. And if we're gonna buy a new machine, I'm looking at an option that would maybe replace both of these and the milk frother. There are some really cool coffee systems that just have everything in one and it would save a lot of counter space. I don't have a lot of counter space in this kitchen. Countertop real estate is really important. So if I can replace these three devices with one thing that's more streamlined and the one thing I'm looking at also does hot water. So it would also replace my tea kettle that I have laying around on the other end of the kitchen. Um, that, would, that would be probably the best in terms of saving space and um, having something that's more streamlined and hopefully a higher quality machine that can last longer. This still works. This is still great. I'll be able to use this in my office. Um, but yeah, maybe in the next vlog, I'll give you a coffee corner update because the coffee in the morning ritual is very important to me. It's something that is like such an important part of my day. And it's not, it's not something that, um, it's something that I don't mind investing in, I guess. I might just get one of those serious coffee machines you can grind the beans and stuff. I think I'd be into that. It's the grip for me. Look, look how she's holding on to it. Like her little, little paw hands. The joy that this little creature brings into my life every day, I can't even. She's such a hoarder too. Like it, it, it's never just one toy. It's it always has to be surrounded by a variety. All right, as promised today when I got ready, I um, put on that foundation combination I was talking about yesterday. 
So I have the Lisa Aldridge foundation mixed with Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And so far it's actually wearing really, really nicely. I have high hopes. For my lips, I'm wearing my new Dior lipstick, the shade 331 Mimi Rose with a little bit of the Clarins lip oil in the shade Pattaya on top. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. How about that? It's just gonna be too much of the same. <laughs> and i don't want to bore you to tears you know so i thought i would just kind of do this random little update share share with you what i've been buying what i've been eating what i've been doing um yeah so my outfit i'm wearing a black t-shirt and it's still a little bit cold so i have this uh Cezanne green sweater just on my shoulders and then if it gets even colder i can just put this on I'm wearing these baggy white jeans. So these are also from Cezanne. Both of these are old items. I'm not sure if they still have them. Last time I checked, the sweater was sold out. I will I will link things below if, if I find them. And then same with these uh, trousers. My belt is from H&M. And my shoes are an exciting new purchase. I finally bought myself a black pair of the classic Chanel slingbacks. I found these pre-loved. I bought them on Vestier Collective and they were in really, 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 <laughs> they were in really great condition. I was very excited to find them. Um, I had tried them on in store, so I knew my size. Chanel shoes run a bit narrow, so I usually size up. In the flats, I size up a full size and these ones I sized up half a size. These shoes were, they're classic, but they were very, very popular with influencers like five years ago. So I feel like there was this boom where everybody was buying these shoes. They were really hard to find at that point. And, and now I feel like people have moved on to other trends and maybe people are willing to let go <laughs> these shoes if they haven't been wearing them. So there are a lot of pre-loved ones on The Real Real and on Vestier Collective. Anyway, I really need to go and rinse out my eyeball. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Let me know what you've been buying. Let me know what you've been into um, in terms of spring. I'm definitely embracing more color. Now when I wear an outfit that's all neutral, I feel like I'm always welcoming a little injection of color. I hope you're having a really, really great weekend. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.